to our third edition of what is now going to be called our Sweatpants Report. Yes, it is Saturday. I know I missed yesterday, but I want to give everyone a chance to watch the first two rounds of the tournament and what a couple great days it was. Number 12 seeds upsetting their opponents each day. You upset the number 5 seed, even though I don't consider Oregon an upset. Really, Cal is not much of an upset. And Ole Miss defeating Wisconsin, somewhat of an upset. But three teams from power conferences that were 12 seeds. If you're from a power conference, you've got 20-plus wins. You're obviously a pretty good team. You've got the talent to compete. You know what it's like to play against other teams from power conferences. Now, VCU destroying Akron. Akron didn't belong on the same line, obviously, as a 12 seed of Oregon, Cal, and Ole Miss. But that happens sometimes. The committee, I don't think you got everything right, but... You know what, I guess sometimes that happens. If you're going to win the tournament, you got to play, you got to beat the best teams. And, well, Oregon and Ole Miss and Cal are off to a great start. We'll see what they can do today and tomorrow. It should be, it's a great tournament. The seven, team, the seven seeds, they did pretty well. The only number 10 seed winner was Minnesota out of the Big Ten, who had a great first two days of the tournament, winning every game except Wisconsin, who couldn't have thrown the ball inside of the back end of my truck, I don't think. Shooting a horrible percentage, looking terrible. Minnesota, though, Tubby Smith, you probably saved your job. Great performance against UCLA last night. Great game. Ohio State looked great. Indiana looked great. You know, Kansas, they looked so-so. Duke looked a little so-so. Creighton escaped a game with Cincinnati. They have a chance to beat Duke. Cincinnati, very athletic team. Duke is athletic, but Cincinnati's made up of a bunch of athletic guys that can jump and run. They don't play great together as a team. Duke plays great together as a team. We'll see how that matchup shapes up. Georgetown losing to Florida Gulf Coast. Incredible game by Florida Gulf Coast. From, yes, Slam U, Florida, supposedly. They have a beach on campus. Who wouldn't want to go there? But their athletes look just as good, if not better, than Georgetown's. These kids play hard, played inspired. They jumped out of the gym. Great game by Florida Gulf Coast. Now we'll see what they do against San Diego State, who's coming from the Mountain West who's really had a disappointing tournament. Boise State out already, UNLV out already. Uh, New Mexico getting upset by Harvard. A great game by Harvard. Steve Alford once again getting outcoached. Alford, you can't get it done in the tournament. I, I don't, you had a great regular season, but once again, you, you've shown that you cannot coach in a big time situation. Colorado State, great win against Missouri. Dominated the game. Nebraska's head coach, Tim Miles, old team, recruited those players. Larry Eustace is doing a great job coming back after, you know, he had fallen a little wise with the alcohol problems, some other issues. But Larry Eustace did a great job with Colorado State. Great tournament so far. It's only going to get better. I still say Indiana looks like the best team. Louisville looked very good, too. So we're going to see what happens, see how it all plays out. I may be back with you tomorrow. I may not be back till Monday. Let you soak in the weekend. Miami Heat, though. Let's go to the NBA. Miami Heat, another win. They're just rolling along. Will they lose? I don't know. They have to play at the Bulls, but right now the Bulls aren't playing very good at home. The Bulls aren't playing great basketball overall. They're playing pretty good. There's something wrong. They're kind of stuck in neutral right now. I think part of it is Tom Thibodeau not playing enough players. Guys are getting tired. Guys are getting worn out. They've had a good season for not having Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose doesn't seem too intent on coming back, and even if he does, I wonder if he'll mess with the chemistry of the team or even if it'll matter. If it doesn't matter, don't come back this year, Derrick. It, it, you're only gonna, you're not gonna help yourself. You're not gonna help the team. You may even hurt the team. Hurry up and get back, or don't come back. Whatever, it doesn't make a difference. NFL draft coming up soon. All kinds of mock drafts. Todd McShay, Mel Kiper. Get ready for the draft. It's coming up here in a few weeks. A great draft. A very interesting draft. It's not a very deep draft. Not a lot of quarterbacks here. Don't expect your team to get a quarterback, but very good on linemen. You, if your team needs a lineman, there's a lot out there. The salary cap causing all kinds of problems for teams. Watch your team's salary cap. See what happens. Look what happened with Brian Urlacher. Urlacher, you just can't run. You had to go somewhere. Pittsburgh Steelers lose a lot of players. Baltimore Ravens paid their quarterback a ton of money. Now they can't even hold on to defensive players. So we'll see what happens with the draft. Free agency's kind of winding down. We'll see where Elvis Doomerville goes. Very big. If Baltimore game, that really helps their situation out. Denver, I think Denver's still going to end up winning out in the end. I hate to say it, I'm not a Broncos fan, not a Broncos fan whatsoever, but boy, did they, are they putting the team together? Wells Welker puts a great piece together. They get Doomerville. That defense is solid. You have Peyton Manning. They'd have to be the favorites going into next year. I hate to say that, but they definitely have to be the favorites going into the next NFL season. Soccer, U.S. getting a big win yesterday in a blizzard in Commerce City, Colorado. 
I don't even know you've played soccer in a blizzard, basically, but a great win by the U.S. to keep them in World Cup contention. It's been a great weekend in sports. You should enjoy it. TNA, Thursday night. I didn't touch base on this yet. A good effort. I liked how you explained the Bully Ray thing out. I think that was very good. You helped a lot of people out. You kind of tied together. You still have too much talking. Your commercials go way too long. You have four or five minute commercials all the time. People get bored. I've had to turn it off a few times. I forget to turn it back because your commercial so long and you have so much talk. More, a little bit more action. Now you need to get a little more action in there. SmackDown. Not bad. I think SmackDown flowed better than Raw did. We don't need a Raw rebound every single show that you have. You know, Saturday Morning Slam, it is what it is. It's a kid's show. You have a couple matches on there. It usually goes pretty good. A lot better than what it used to be where you had the little funky stuff in the middle for the kids, which is great. It's a kid's show, but the kids want to see the action. Mick Foley on there, not a bad idea. You got the kids. People love Mick Foley. It's not a bad idea. You just need a commissioner maybe for main event to make that a little bit more serious for Ryan on TV, especially if you want that to keep going. Now, enjoy the tournament. It's already started today. For some reason, they've only put one game on at 11 and one game on at 1.30, and then you got three games on later in the night, which is kind of ridiculous. You said maybe spread it out 2-2-2, two, two, and two, but I'm not the TV executives, even though I think that would be a better idea for them. And if you're into women's basketball, watch women's tournament. There's a lot of good women's teams out there. They play good, hard basketball. It should be a very interesting women's tournament. you got Baylor and very good UConn, always good. Tennessee, Notre Dame, a very, very good team. Could give Notre Dame, or should could give Baylor a run for their money this year for the, for the national championship. So once again, enjoy a great sports weekend, lots of basketball. Have fun with it. Hope your brackets aren't completely busted, which they probably are. But hey, everyone's brackets busted. Have fun. Enjoy. We'll talk to you either tomorrow or Monday.